just uh, welcome everyone, new chair. My name is Howard. Um, and we're just spending this session looking at uh, some of the ways of working for the W3C community group uh, for Open Active. And uh, so we have uh, two documents which I'll link in the notes for this call, uh, but I'll put one up on screen right now. Share. Should also see the other thing that we do is uh, usually is intros so that people who aren't on screen, um, everyone knows who's on the call. Um, but I need to, short, to shortcut that. It's, <laughs> it's, it's Debbie from Everyone Active, Nick from I'm in, Tim from the ODI, and Howard from the ODI. Thank you. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> So we're, we're looking at the section on collabor collaboration and collaborative tools. We've talked about the Open Active W3C community group mailing list, which we'll use to share information about the agendas and um, notes of, of these meetings and the videos. And we just got on to the microsite, which is where we'll store all those things. So those, those two are definitely still um, useful, you know, valid uh, forms of communication. So, for those that aren't here, and for those, obviously for those that are, if um, you have ideas on the way these are run, um, you know anything that could be changed or improved, let us know by email or on the forum. Um, when I say forum, what 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 what's the best route, uh, Nick? Uh, Is it GitHub? Isn't it? Mailing list or the Slack channel for, um, uh, I guess, general stuff. But um, there's a W3C uh, Slack channel, which everyone's in, uh, called W3C uh, Community Group Chat. Uh, that's specifically around this group. Um, yeah, and there's obviously the most people are in. We're in this group. We're in Slack. Excellent. Um, so we move on to the these conference calls, teleconferences, um, video conference. Which are, and the videos are recorded and published to YouTube. Um, and there's a calendar, so that's something I'll, I'll need to, to get on top with. But it's fortnightly rhythm, and that will be the plan to continue with that uh, as we move into phase five with the the aspects of open active that we want to take forward this this space. And so GitHub is obviously where we manage the most issues, and the specifications are, are managed there. Google Docs, is there any, and anything else to, to say? Is Slack's probably the most commonly used. Is that right? Is that the most immediate? It, it's, it is the only thing with Slack is it, as it says in this doc, actually, it's not recorded. So um, it, discussions that involve specifications or anything in detail, which should be really putting on the mailing list or on GitHub. Most of that has actually gone on GitHub historically. Um, mm -hmm. And then sometimes when GitHub isn't enough uh, Google Docs are used, and there's a there's a public Google Docs um, folder which is available, um, which has uh, all the uh, all the things for the community group inside it. Um, okay, uh, and so Debbie, as a you know, as a third party, shall we say, from Nick, closely involved in Open Active all along, and it was me and Tim as the ODI now supporting it. There's, you know, for for that external independent view, do you, do you feel this is the right level of um, interaction collaboration? Um, I have to be honest and say that I don't follow everything as closely as maybe I should, or maybe somebody else in our organisation should, because there's some stuff that kind of goes um, beyond my understanding or um, not not capabilities, but yeah. um, it's whether. I think one of the sessions was about um, accessibility and stuff like that. Um, and that's not um, really the right area for me to be involved in. So it may be that from an organisational perspective, depending on what the session's about, the individual may be different that needs to be on that session. Um, the Slack channel I've lost. I don't seem to have it anymore. I did have it before. Um, and yeah, it's one, it is, I feel like it is one of those where there's a lot of places to go, but knowing how to get to them all is a bit of a dark art. Mm. 
that's, that's, that's really good. helpful. <clears throat> yeah. Um, I think you know we, we can we can think about that and, and work out how to signpost people to the information they need at, at the time they need it. The direct route. Um, and I wonder, do you think that if the agendas were shared in advance, that you would be able to connect the right people in your organization to the right sessions if um, you know, if something was coming up, say, on accessibility um, with advance notice, you'd be able to, to um, do that? Possibly. Um, yeah, yeah I, could, I could certainly ask them. I can't. <laughs> I definitely can't make them. But yeah, I can certainly ask them if they... Yeah. Um, feel they need to be involved yeah great so i think you know the, it's clear we need to get the agendas out um and, and plan ahead um and give people time to get the right bodies in, in the room as it were that's a good question actually um Derry, how many do you think two, two weeks notice or one week's notice for the agenda would be ideal as a thing to aim for i definitely think the more you can give people the better calendars are ridiculous um i, I imagine everybody else is the same Hmm. Yeah, I think my, my ideal bold words on, on my first session as chair is that you know we would try and put a, a calendar of um of topics coming up, you know, for, for the next six weeks or something like that, you know, to, if we if we think that far ahead and, and try and pace things. Um obviously. That's best laid plans, isn't it? So, but let, let's see how, how we're going, being more um, more proactive about the agenda. Just make note. Um, and so, the the Slack channel oh, is the um, is that sign up link in there, uh, Nick? Still, or is that? Uh, what's this one? And this isn't quite the right sign up link as uh, it should be. The self sign up link, which is slack.automactive.io. So it's a good shout. Excellent. Um, and so we've mentioned there that for the open standards development, Slack is, is, you know, isn't the ideal place. We want to point things, move things to GitHub where possible. So, um, I haven't scrolled down further in that document yet. Oh, it's here, so I will do it just now. Um, and the process for building census, consensus. Feels fairly. Oh, sorry, Nick, do you want to just talk through the um, that the versioning of documents? Yeah, yeah, sure. Um, Yes, yeah, so this is the uh, this is the process we've been using uh, so far. We did change uh, candidate specifications to candidate release at some point, which is why they're CR, CR two, etc. So there's some naming differences there um, from the original doc here. But um, so I should say for everyone's benefit, this doc is um, there's an original document that was was written and then um, subsequently updated. I think by myself in 2020, but I've left the um, revisions in there for posterity. Although we probably can accept changes and and you know have this as a, a final version. Um, now that so. we're we, can, we can put a note in there that you know that we changed from candidate specification to candidate release or something like that just to explain the history. Although it, if it's a Google Doc, it will have all the history. Yeah, exactly. That will have the history. And if we've got the call here where we talked, the, the, I think the main thing is this document. The changes in there although they were de facto that had happened, I don't think we've had an opportunity on this call to go through the changes, if that makes yeah. sense. <clears throat> so, yeah. Probably why there, but now we've had the call, um, we can accept them and um, people can refer, refer back to that conversation. Um, so the the idea here is the, um, uh, the there are, is an editor's draft, which is the current working versions. We have some, um, I, I know there's, um, um, plans for this but uh, already but there's there's some challenges where we've got the editor's drafts which currently are being used really to implement against um which is um which is is fine and working working well but i think there's an opportunity to tighten um the specs up by just releasing and you know making the appropriate changes 
there's a lot of discussion that's gone into making lots of changes, but the specs themselves don't reflect those um, in all cases. Um, the test suite does and the documentation on the website does, but the specifications themselves don't. So all implementations that have been happening have been basing um, on, the, on the spec, but if there's a um, disagreement, they've been favoring documentation because the spec, as I mentioned, hasn't been um, published in a long time. So we need to um, ideally invest a little bit of time in just making sure that the spec is, is reflective of all the good work that's been done in refining and refining and refining over time to, um, to tighten things up, um, which is, uh, yeah, so some, some um, stuff to go back to there. And a lot of it's uh, in the, there's a GitHub backlog, uh, which should have everything in it um, in terms of those, um, those changes, but um, uh, probably also worth a cross check with the documentation at the end to make sure that everything is, is if, if, if everything's in there and if there's a discrepancy that we have an opportunity to discuss that discrepancy um, to make sure we um, can feedback on it. Um, so so that's the so uh, the editor's drafts which are which are out and available. Um, uh, they are tagged, you know, people can start implementing them um, because they're suitably mature. It's just that they haven't finished the formal process yet. The candidate releases are um, where we've got something uh, that's a little bit more stable uh, and that can be um, implemented against specifically. And so we've got those at the moment, CR1, as it were, CR2, CR3. Um, similarly with CR3, CR3 itself is a document, which is the uh, CR3 spec document combined with uh, quite a few GitHub issues. Uh, I think it was like 18 or something GitHub issues, which are amendments to CR3. So when people implement CR3, they are actually implementing CR3 plus the GitHub issues. Um, because again, we haven't gone through and updated that document yet to reflect those. Um, so we need to really publish that or republish that. So everyone knows what's what people have implemented against. And then going forward, um, we should be in a good place to um, to eventually move that to, to 1.0 if we can get the last few implementations sorted. Um, and then there's this idea of, um, I think, in line with the W3C guidance for specifications, which is outside of this document, um, having three or more specifications, sorry, implementations of the specifications before moving them to the final version. Um, so it stays in CR until we've got implementations enough that we're comfortable that everyone's talked about it enough that we can move it to final. Uh, and at that point, um, yeah, that's that's kind of what it is, and we move to the next version to the editor's draft, et cetera, then works on the next version and onwards. Um, ideally, we would be posting the published versions that are, that are final to the W3C website. Um, we've only, I think, done that with the first two, uh, so there's a bit of a backlog there of things to post to the W3C website, which we can do, um, uh, or rather the chair can do that through the W3C um, process. So um, it's just a bit of admin to catch up on basically around a lot of this stuff. Um, uh, but yeah, I think the, the process as is, is written here is, um, I think is right. Uh, I think this is what we're, we're doing um, broadly. I think the, the challenge is really keeping the spec in step with, um, you know, what we're, what we're doing and making sure we've got resource to update that specification so that it, it does reflect um, um, the, the discussions that have been had and what's what's been agreed on this on this set of calls. Okay. Thank you. And yeah, makes sense to me so far. I mean, we're, we're, let's see it in action um, over over the coming weeks and months. Um, yeah. Oh, I should. There's also this um, editors. Uh, so obviously, we'll with uh, Tim outgoing, we'll need to change some of the editors on some of the specs. I suspect um, for the next versions. Um, but as it says here, it's the editors', editors responsibility to manage the process of creating and building, creating the changes and building the consensus around them. But in this forum, um, anyone in the community can take on the responsibility of editing the specification. So it's not a special, particularly special thing, because we've. This process being transparent, everything's in GitHub. Uh, it doesn't matter who's the editor. Uh, the important thing is the process is followed and that's clear for everyone to see. Um, but obviously with resources being constrained, it often falls on the ODI to do the uh, 
editing bit just because that's where the funding is um, frankly but uh often but then but that being said uh there's um other people have done um uh been editor for other specs so um i'm for example i'd be happy to continue being joint editor on the booking spec um and and you know push that through to final at least for this version and then maybe someone else can pick it up for version two <laughs> but i feel like there's a you know there's a good uh opportunity for completion of things that have been you know in the air for a while that we can uh, we can take here um okay and i'm just going through the process for building consensus um is there anything, I mean, we're just a relatively small number on the call today, but is there anything about quorum or, you know, like a minimum number of voices to to achieve consensus? So the way we've been doing it, uh, it'd be interesting to see, there's a decision process, which is actually in the charter. I'm not sure if it's oh, superseded by anything in this document. So um, I don't think it is. So the charter might be a good place to look, and I'll just pull that up on the screen so you can see. Um, so the charter, I think, is still the charter, because I think we have to vote on it if we want to change the charter, and this process uh, document sits on top of the charter. Um, and the decision-making process in the charter is here. Um, the way that we've been... So groups are free to decide how to make decisions. Da -da -da -da. Um, the way that we've been doing it practically on here is that we've been looking for consensus on on issues with the people on the calls and trying to make sure the right people turn up on the calls calls are recorded so if someone doesn't agree with consensus or you know they can and if they watch back they can shout or if later on they don't agree with consensus they can shout at any time until the, pro the document's finalized and so there's a you know obviously there's iteration 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 and then when we get to the finalization and um, as we have done, um, you'll see with the um, recently with the uh, customer accounts API, we went through it in detail. Everyone had an opportunity to um, to reflect on it and uh, feedback on it. Um, who was interested in doing so, um, and uh, and then uh, yeah, so consensus is then based on um, everyone who's who's interested in, and available to to comment. And we just try and get as many people. As we can to um, to look at that stuff where um, where it's relevant. Um, so there's a if substantial disagreements remain. So the, so everyone tries to get to consensus, um, and that's what we've been doing as we've been going through. Um, whoever chairs the call, uh, you know, uh, will would we'll, we'll do that. Um, and then if there's a disagreement that remains, the group needs to decide, um, uh, and the group needs to decide an issue in order to make progress committees can choose an alternative uh, that had substantial support with a vote if necessary um so there is there is provision for forking in here obviously that would be a crazy thing for open active to do to fork as open source projects do but if there's individuals that really disagree with the choice taken after consensus and a vote then they can take the standard in a new direction brand it something different and do something else with it um, that's never happened um, with this group because usually there's a really good reason for someone objecting to something, and it's just that we've not thought about it. Um, as uh, as has happened with uh, with with Debbie, actually, she's um, witnessed this quite a few times when someone's gone, "Oh, what about this?" And we go, "Oh, <laughs> good point," um, and then then change things. Um, so uh, so this is this is allowed preferred to blocking with a goal of letting implementation experience inform which spec is ultimately chosen by the group to move ahead with. So basically, that's like a, the way that would probably work. I mean, you could badge it fully as something other than open active, or you could, you know, badge it as, I don't know, A and B or something, and then let people make their own own minds up and keep it within the tent. But that yeah, that seems to me the the spirit of that. That you know, if you disagree. You know, and it, there isn't a, a decision. Then, okay, prove it. You know, if you, if if that fork is a better route, show us, show the community. Um, and that mm -hmm. does that feels like a trial by 
combat kind of situation where at least you, you can in the real world see if that if that is a better solution mm. uh, that that doesn't it shouldn't have to mean you know going off and calling it something else um yes agreed just that experimental this way is going to work for us mm. i mean uh, yeah I can, I can see that i can see the challenge there but um okay i'll uh sorry i'll I interrupt it then. yeah 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 so um uh any, any decision is uh, reached any meeting a tentative and should be recorded in a GitHub issue for the groups to use GitHub or otherwise on the group's mailing list. So I think that's what we talked about earlier. These are the two places where decisions are recorded. Um, any group participant may object to a decision reached at an online or in-person meeting within seven days of publication of a decision, provided that they include clear technical reasons for the objection. So this is that, you know, not everyone can attend every meeting. So there's a period of time where people can um, object to things. We've actually been much more lax with that rule than the seven day cutoff period if someone's missed a meeting and they mention the problem later. Because as I mentioned, it, 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 we've, nev we've never really had any fr frictionful stuff on these calls because it tends to be obvious based on someone's mentioned something that no one's thought of yet or whatever. Um, and so chairs will facilitate discussion to resolve the objection according to the decision process, which is this process. Um, the chair's responsibility to ensure that the decision process is fair, respects the consensus of the community group, and does not unreasonably favor or discriminate against any group in particular or their employer. Fair enough. Um, well, I'll, you know, I will read the rest of that document, uh, but I think for, you know, common sense, it feels like the right approach. Um, happy to carry on like that. Um, I guess what else is in that um, under the under that document is for building consensus. We're about there, I mean, it's proposing changes and there's a template at the end, so that all very makes sense. Yeah. Yeah, I, I was just going to point out that if we did want to amend the charter, there's actually a process to do that in here. I think it's something thirty day vote. Um, so yeah, just to, um, yeah, there's some documents like this and standards that have already been finalized um, or, or version that it's, you know, um, changes to the doc itself are, are not the ideal way of doing it <laughs> without going through the due process. Uh, that's, yeah, sorry, you were saying. I, I, you talk, well, that was, was that was for the charter, not the, um, not for that community group document was oh it? yes sorry for the charter that's right the charter the charter itself rather than for the community group document exactly yes yes yeah, yes so yeah. I this think is this is fine yeah so I doubt, just an effective reminder i guess for people who are newer to the thing if they do see this video that that's what we're all about so mm -hmm. i um probably just use the, the last few minutes um if deb is there to i guess call on ask for any priority areas or any any topics you know if we're looking ahead at agendas for coming months what are there any areas that you'd like to see focused on in these conversations or any any particular areas in the github issues backlogs anything like that i don't personally have anything but i would imagine there's probably other people that have got opinions that are not here today <laughs> okay yeah. Well, agreed um, it'd probably be good to ask that question and as an agenda item <laughs> people know it's uh i can i can say that there are from implementations that are currently live uh there are um the getting the getting the specs finalized as we talked about um you know that that would be that would be quite helpful for um tidying up if you like um what we've got before we um well not before we do other things because um there are some uh uh i guess some some minor issues that are, are left i think around um around the booking spec maybe and um i think the customer accounts api but yeah again i think that just needs to be transferred into a formal document so um so yeah so i think there's just from from my perspective at least there's there's some good uh admin to do um but I think, and and I think that, uh, yeah, putting a wider call out would probably be the thing to do for yeah. priorities. Otherwise, 
एक्सेंट होगा and other than that um i suppose around tim anything you want prioritized or raised at this session and uh, no don't don't think so and other than what we discussed so there's some some admin tidying you know, up getting the call out um getting the end agendas out in advance um, I suppose once we get those ideas and priorities back in, getting the recordings out. But Nick, anything else? You know, what's your top three things to get signed off at these sessions? Um, for me, it's the it's the finishing of the specs. I think is the thing. So there's there are if we go into the backlog of what's left to get those specs to, um, you know, the next. Uh, you know, point iteration or or finalization. There are topics to discuss which haven't yet been, or um, we just need to just need to kind of draw a line under. Maybe there's you know a good call where we can go through like a batch of them and say, right, this one has been discussed. Da, 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 da. Looks like the, the consensus is this. Are we all happy with that? Great. Next, and just kind of rapidly, um, you yeah, know, move some of those things through to um, the kind of the final the final stage. Um, there's nothing that's blocking, as far as I'm aware, any current implementation because um, current implementations aren't, um, they're just using what's, as I mentioned, what's in the documentation. So um, it would be good to get the specs back on to the point where they could block the document, the, the process, right? Because they're being used as the, um, the point of truth rather than the documentation. Okay. um that's great that's really helpful uh, and um we obviously we've got the steering committee tomorrow for the first time in a little while so it'd be interesting to see you know what emerges if, if anything emerges there on, on priorities but i don't imagine anything dramatic is going to change just like that so um that's really helpful and we'll probably call it there i think it's there's nothing nothing else to to cover today I know it was a uh, my first session, so just getting the groups. All right, cheers everyone, and uh, we'll get the agendas out for future for future meetings. Brilliant, great, thanks, thanks guys. Sir. Cheers. Bye, cheers. Bye -bye.